Hey there, in today's video, I'm going to be making a tie-dye sublimation shirt. It's it's not really tie-dye, but it's a tie-dye effect. My previous video, I was showing you how I came up with this design. And, you know, kind of giving you some ideas on creating your own designs. But this video is the actual pressing on the shirt. So let's get started. So right now I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm warming up the press. I'm gonna print it these two images. Of course you have to reverse it. And then this is gonna go in the, on the front. Uh, I was also thinking about putting like I can use vinyl and put like uh, <clears throat> like God Bless America, which was my first uh, idea to use vinyl but let's see how it comes out anyway so in the meantime i'm waiting for my temperature to rise i went to stores today and i realized that i couldn't get to my uh, my shirts i have two storage units and unfortunately i was not able to get to my shirts so i had to go to walmart and get some shirts and i'll show you what shirts they are um Where's that tag? I think I threw it away. If you want to experiment, um, if you're trying to get into sublimation, you can always go to Walmart because these are these are the shirts that I started with originally from Walmart. They were six. Where is it at? I wanted to give you the price. Six. Um, is this it? Anyway, it's a, it's a dry works moisture wick. They are six eighty eight each, six dollars and eighty eight cents. If you want to experiment with those shirts, actually, this is the tag. This is what it, this is the shirt that I'm using. It's from Walmart. Again, I couldn't get to my. I went to storage, but I couldn't get to my shirts. I thought I had them hanging on my uh, my racks. But I didn't. I ended up having to put them in a box where I couldn't get to them. But anyway, these are $6.88. And I'm going to be pressing on a medium shirt. And uh, I didn't bring my gun. But anyway, still waiting for the temperature. I think this is going to come out pretty cool. I want to try something different. Um, I'm going to probably do two more of these shirts. But not today. So... What I'm going to do right now, sorry for the lighting, I'm in the wrong spot. I'm still going to do four fingers down. I'm just going to kind of press down here. And what I want to do is just kind of bring the shirt up over where I don't want to sublimate. It doesn't matter if you're going to do the front and the back because I'm going to do the back here too. So I just want to kind of cover... I really don't want to get the back of this collar, so I'm going to just fold them together, or put it together. Just do this. Do that, and I'm going to take my image out. So that just lets me know that I have room for that. So I'm going to just kind of cover the front. I did want to do something different, but um, it's going to have to be on another, uh, it's going to have to go on another shirt. I do have two more shirts that I'm going to do, but it's not going to be this. So, I want my, oh, by the way, I'm using plain paper. I want to see how it comes out. Never use a Teflon sheet when working with sublimation. Whatever that sheet picks up, it will transfer to your next substrate or your next shirt. I'm just checking my pressure right now. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, right now it's at 394. I'm just going to go ahead and go with that. 
let's see i think i want to put it this way because this is not going to touch the bottom i'm not going to worry about uh, parchment paper on the bottom just going to worry about the top and because it's plain copy paper i'm going to use two sheets because it absorbs more ink so here we go 60 seconds i'm going to pause it three two one zero See, uh, when you use plain paper, it absorbs a lot of ink. It didn't go through the second sheet. That's trash. That's trash. So what I'm going to do, I want to, now, now I want to use maybe two sheets again. Because I want to flip it over. Side. I'm gonna fast forward this part because I got burned and I cussed. So now I'm gonna do the other sheet. Same thing. Okay, now I'm going to use two more sheets, clean sheets of course, I'm going to have to put you on pause, let me tighten up my pressure, 60 seconds, put you on pause, okay, we got about six seconds left, I can't wait for y'all to see the other two, I'll have to do two more videos, trash, trash, Ouch, I have to turn it back around. Ouch, it's hot. Okay, so now, I just find my middle. This sucker's hot, oops. Still do the four fingers. For those of you that worry about the, the, uh, the ink going through, it will never go through. Never has for me anyway. These shirts from Walmart, they're not that thick that thin. The only difference is, and I'll show you in a minute. Okay, and I'll make you wait again. Okay, moment of truth in three seconds. And turn off this press. Okay, here is the final results. I do not recommend using plain paper because it started getting scorched on the sides. Other than that, I like how it came out. It looks pretty cool. I was expecting it to be more colorful, but maybe I just need to use a, I don't know, 11 by 17 sheet. I think that might be better that way I can spread it out some more. But other than that, it looks pretty good besides the damn scorch marks so again don't use plain paper i was this was an experiment for me anyway so there you have it keep watching for those two bits of information that i promised i was going to give you at the end of the video difference is that it's got this design it's squares little little bitty squares it looks like squares anyway it's how it's stitched or woven i like it to be honest because it's different but from a distance you can't really tell it's just you know more it's uh it's polyester and it's a different type of uh design that's all that's the only difference other than that it's not that thin either and like most polyester shirts, you can see your skin color, your skin tone. And here you can't. You can barely see.
if they're not that thin. That's why I like working with these. I might go back to them. And also to, uh, to uh, confirm what I said about it not going through. It's only going to get on the front part of the uh, shirt. Not You will see it in the, on the inside. But it will not bleed through. And this is the inside. See the seam on the inside? Let me get to the flag. Sorry, I'm kind of trying to one-hand it here. So you'll see it, but it won't penetrate through, all the way through. And I know a lot of people use parchment paper or butcher paper on the inside, but it will not go through. You'll see it, but it will never go through. So save your butcher paper, your parchment paper. There you go. At first I considered this a fail, but it's actually not a fail. It's a lesson learned to not use copy paper for this brand of shirts. That's all I have for now. Until next time.